Welcome to this short DVD. I'm David Eccles, the Executive Director responsible for Workforce and Human Resources at Portsmouth Hospitals Trust. As a trust, we want to be the first choice provider of healthcare. And if we are to achieve this, we will need to depend on the contribution and support of our staff who have the skills, commitment and flexibility to provide the right care at the right time to the patients who need it. As the second largest employer in Portsmouth area, we have an important part to play in the community. And that's why our vision for the workforce is to be a world-class employer. This short DVD is all about the strategy to achieve that. The Trust takes the health and well-being of its entire staff very seriously. Our work is our single most important asset and the staff well-being strategy shows that we're committed to creating an environment that promotes and maintains the good health and welfare of our staff. Health and safety management is part of our statutory duties, but we intend to make the health of our staff an integral part of good management practice because having a healthy and motivated workforce means that we can recruit and keep the best people and ultimately our patients will benefit. We already have vital support mechanisms in place such as mentoring and counselling, mediation and critical incident debriefing and we're also developing policies and running programmes to support staff in tackling bullying and harassment. We'll be running more health promotion programmes like smoking cessation, well person health checks, exercise programmes and healthy eating initiatives. The Wellness Centre, to be based at Queen Alexandra Hospital, is an exciting development which will benefit everyone, whether they want to swim or use the gym, take advantage of the complementary therapies on offer, or just relax in the coffee bar. We are working in partnership with local colleges and universities to ensure that the courses they deliver meet the needs of our changing organisation and in doing so are supporting, as requested, the development of new roles in the organisation. Our staff continue to successfully support a large number of quality learning opportunities for students. To support this agenda, we have recently appointed a practice-based learning team funded by NHS South Central, who will ensure that our students are supported to achieve their learning outcomes, therefore meeting both the university's and our educational governance requirements. We are currently seeking recognition of our commitment to learning by becoming a university foundation trust, and as we enter new partnership agreements with our strategic health authority and universities in line with benchmark pricing, we have been a lead trust in supporting the development of this policy. To facilitate this, we have reduced the number of essential training sessions in line with NHSLA requirements and are looking to provide increased training in the workplace and via e-learning. Flexible provision of learning and development in the evenings and at weekends will enable staff who do not work regular hours to attend.